Hi everyone, hope you're good. I wanted to do a video response um, for Patsy at the Two Paths Tarot ch channel and the hashtag is for love of cards. I was also tagged in to do this video response by Ali from the Lupus Moon channel. So this hashtag has 11 questions so please do excuse me if I'm looking down but I've got the questions <laughs> down below. Okay, so let's crack on. Question one is, what was your first tarot deck? So my first tarot deck was um, a deck that I kind of got on a subscription series in the mid 90s. Um, it was the Mind, Body and Spirit um, series. So what it was is that every two weeks I'd go to my local news agents and pick it up. It was um, normally three cards in kind of like A4, ring binder sheets and those A4 ring binder sheets were actually the guidebook for the tarot so at the end of it I've got three ring binders as guidebooks <laughs> and a tarot deck and I'm just going to show you some of the cards from the tarot deck so this is the back of the cards let me just these are a few cards this one here this one here and that's one here. So for years I called it the Mind, Body and Spirit Spirit Tarot but then I was told that it's called the One JJ Swift I think it is Tarot Deck. That's my first deck. So question number two. Favourite deck creator? I don't actually have one because I like an eclectic mix of decks so from all different creators so I don't actually have one. Question three. Your favourite tarot system i.e. Oracle or Tarot? So I actually like both, but if I was to choose, it would have to be tarot. So question four, favourite system within tarot? It has to be the Rider Waite Smith system, because that's the system that I'm most comfortable with, and that's the system that I actually learnt to read the tarot cards on. Question five, last deck that you bought? So that was this one. And that's the J. DeVive tarot. Beautiful deck. I'll just show you a few cards from this deck. That's the back of the cards. Question six is your favourite deck right now. Now my kind of um, tastes fluctuate, depends on what mood I'm in. But currently, right now, I'd say for the last week or so, my favourite tarot card deck has been this one, which is the Cat Tarot, and it's by Megan Lynn Knott. So it's basically a Rider Waite Smith inspired deck with just cats in it. So I'll show you a few of the cards. So that's the back of the deck, and. Okay, so question seven. Favourite deck of all times? It would have to be the Afro Akana Tarot deck by, uh, I think it's Andrea Furtex. Just show you a few of the cards from that. So this is the um, box it comes in. It comes in this kind of like velvet bag with a box inside. And the cards just smell so nice. I love the smell of them. Nice buttery kind of feel. So that's the backs of the cards and that's one card beautiful images very relatable for me okay so question eight what deck would you like to own that would have to be the light sears tarot who wrote that it was chrissy and donnelly so i wanted to get this deck when it was on kickstarter but when i added up the price of the deck the international shipping fees and the custom charges that I would have occurred when it came to the UK, it just wasn't worth it. It was just too expensive. So apparently it's going to be um, mass produced by Hay House in 2020. So I'm going to probably pre-order it then. So question nine, a deck that you struggle with, it would have to be the Marseille system. I'm okay with the majors and I've actually got some major only Marseille decks. It's just the pips that I struggle with because I like to see the story within the decks and I, I just don't understand the pips. 
Question 10. If you could have a deck tailor made, what would it look like? Okay, so it would be standard size matte cardstock, rider weight system base, borderless, it'd be inclusive, and the stories within the, the um, tarot would tell my life story or my life experiences from my birth, which, which was in the 1960s to this current day. I would also kind of like colour code the majors, Akana and the suits and I'll use a really vibrant kind of like colour palette because I do like colour. So I'd like to thank Patsy for starting this um, hashtag and thanks everyone for watching. You'll see me soon. Bye.